Do you also just love your cheap AliExpress microscope for your electronics work? But are you going completely bonkers while trying to fit a larger board underneath it? Well, I am. And that is why I decided to upgrade my left workbench from this to this. Hi there, first off, a small announcement that there are larger projects coming soon, very large projects that is. Projects which have been in the making for months now, they will include topics like 3D printing, custom PCBs, do-it-yourself projects and several of them will even be Fallout themed. Yes, the game Fallout. I can't tell or show you too much about these projects yet, but until they are finished, I will try to upload some smaller tips tricks, hacks and projects in between. Without further ado, let's get started with turning this cheap AliExpress microscope from a novelty into a real useful tool for your electronics lab. This is a very cheap microscope which I found on AliExpress for just under 30 bucks. I will put a link to it in the description below, which is not an affiliate link by the way. It has a built-in LCD, quite high image quality for its price. It can record to micro SD in 1080p. Of course, the megapixels aren't professional grade, but it is usable. It has a built in battery, so it can run as standalone. And it can even be used as a USB camera. Although, you won't be able to use the LCD at the same time then. So, if it has all these amazing features for its price, why would I then consider it a novelty, at least for me, that is? Well, when using it for electronics work, with its original stand, is just not really user friendly and even clumsy. And in my personal opinion, not useful except for some small inspection work. And working with larger boards is basically not possible with it due to the limitations of the stand. So I went to the website of Tomon Music and bought a Millennium DS150 microphone arm for 35 bucks, which arrived just two days later. I was already using one of these for my microphone and really love the stability of it. In the box you'll get the arm itself, which has a 5 8 adapter on it, which I don't need, so I will put it aside. And you will also get this desk mount, which most of you are familiar with I guess. Just put it on your desk, then tighten the screw like this, and it will clamp itself onto your desk. You could however also remove the arm mount from this clamp by removing these screws, and then screwing it directly onto your desk or workbench if you would like to. This is something I might do in the future, but for now I will just install it with this clamp. I installed it next to my microphone, which as mentioned earlier uses the same arm. And then I made sure that the microscope arm can move freely without interfering or colliding with the microphone its arm. Usually the microphone is not on this workbench, but instead located at my computer. The microscope arm however will be permanently installed here from now on and will be stored in this position when I'm not using it. To mount the microscope onto the microphone arm, I designed and 3D printed this small adapter which you can screw right onto the DS150. When screwing it onto the microphone arm, make sure that the model number faces downwards to ensure that the microscope will fit into the mount properly. I will put a download link to this adapter in the description below. Then I used the integrated cable channel of the DS150 to install a USB extension cord for the female USB connector, I made another small enclosure, which I will install on top of the microphone arm. To close this enclosure, I just used my Hakko soldering iron set to 195 degrees Celsius. While using a soldering tip, which I exclusively use for this purpose, I personally call this method plastic welding, and I use it for many projects like this, which don't require to be opened up again. Do however make sure, when doing this, that you are doing this in a well ventilated area. Despite the fact that it's at a lower temperature than you would usually print, I would still be a bit cautious though. Next I used a thick double sided foam tape to install the USB connector onto my microphone arm. By the way, the only issue I do want to mention which I had, was that the lock nut of the microphone arm interferes a bit with the microscope when rotating it, due to the size of the microscope. I will however just replace this lock nut with a smaller one in the near future. 
And now that everything is installed onto the microscope arm, I can also use the microscope as USB camera or use the USB port to charge the microscope. But more importantly, I can now, if I need a microscope, use it much more efficiently. For someone who doesn't use a microscope that often, this is a very affordable way to have a good and functional electronics microscope on your workbench. As you can see, with the 65 bucks I've spent, it's still a lot cheaper than one of the other popular cheap alternatives these days. For me this microscope is more than enough and does the job well. I mostly solder without microscope, even the smaller stuff, but do from time to time use it to inspect my solder joints, so I just don't need the expensive ones. And then this one combined with the microphone arm is just the perfect solution for me. When I'm not using it, I will just store the microphone in its original stand and move the microphone arm into this position. I will have to say that I am very pleased with the result and I hope you enjoyed the video and that it maybe inspired you to upgrade your own electronics microscope. Thank you for watching, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.